I'm fortunate enough to have a few American chestnut trees on my property that are alive, doing well, and still producing chestnuts. Last fall, I was lucky enough to be able to collect about 40 ripe chestnuts from below this tree, and I put them in cold storage for the winter to see if I could get them to germinate. Now it's the end of April, and it's finally time to see if we had any success. What I have in the bucket is sand that I mixed stratified with the chestnuts, put a little moisture in there in fall, and buried this in the ground outside. Supposedly, to get these things to germinate, they need to go through that cold cycle as if they were dropped on the ground. Leaf litter came and covered them up. They sat for the winter, and then the warm-up of spring triggers them to grow. Hopefully, we've got something going on in here. Our first look in the bucket. Oh, we've got a sprout. It worked. Awesome. Oh, we've got a piece of a shovel. <laughs> Kid shovel. Let's see, do we have more? Hard to tell on that one. I'll have to collect these and wash them off to tell for sure on all of them. I don't want to damage them too much. But we at least have one, so this means we can get more of these rare trees back out into nature. All right, I had some success. I've got eight that sprouted pretty well. So I've got to get these in pots and get them growing further. I think I'm going to leave them by the window here. The other ones all which was interesting, these were pretty clean on the outside. All the other ones that didn't sprout had this kind of a film caked on the outside. So there's nothing different in the appearance. I mean, some of these seem quite filled out, and so that means they were fertile and they developed well, but for some reason the conditions were not right to get them to sprout. So I might, I think I'll save these try peat moss and put them in the refrigerator and see if I can get those to sprout yet. But right now, at least we've got eight that did and these will turn into possible future trees that produce more nuts and we can get the population back up. I have my eight sprouted chestnuts here in these four inch pea pots. Uh, this way I can monitor and make sure that they continue to grow or start to grow more than the sprout. And this will make it really easy to transplant, hopefully outside, once I get some good growth on here and things warm up a little bit. The unsprouted ones I stratified in peat moss, basically potting soil, but let's be honest, this stuff is mostly peat moss. Very light. I think I'm gonna try a more aggressive method with these since they didn't sprout in the big cycle is put them in the freezer, let them freeze for maybe a week, then transfer them to the fridge and let them unthaw slowly. And hopefully that will mimic a real winter cycle outside because they didn't sprout on their own. So otherwise I fear these might be goners, but I'm gonna give them, going to give them one last chance. And hopefully our all-stars here can grow up Let's keep an eye on them. Well, it's been just over a week. I did a shock treatment on these, put them in the deep freeze for a bit, and then just the fridge. And surprise, surprise, doesn't look like anything changed. But I still do have the eight that germinated in the pots here. It's warming up, thankfully, so hopefully we'll get some more sunshine, some more heat on these, and we'll get some seedlings. Right now, not much happening yet. Stay tuned, I'll provide progress updates 
Honor Chestnut Seedlings. Thanks for watching. Adios.